Welcome to Electron Online and now let's do an easy example of how to graph an ellipse when you give an equation in the standard form of an ellipse. So first of all we want to find the center of the ellipse and the center of the ellipse is found by finding h and k. So we know that the center has coordinates h and k and in this example h would be equal to 2 and k would be equal to 3. So let's go ahead and graph it right here. So there's our, oh, not a very straight axis, is it? Let me try this again. Oh, that's a, not a very clean eraser. There, let's start over. Okay, that's better. And there we go. So there's our y-axis, there's our x-axis, and the center is at 2 and 3. So we go x equals 1, 2, y equals 1, 2, 3. So that's the location of the center. Now, will the ellipse be stretched this way or stretched vertically, well that depends. If A is bigger than B then it's horizontal. If A is smaller than B in this, or if this number in the denominator is smaller than this number right there then it would be vertical. So it looks like it's going to be horizontal. The major axis will be twice this number. So it will be 5 to the right and 5 to the left. So that's a 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we know that the vertex in the horizontal direction will be that direction at that point right there. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then over here will be the vertex in the other direction. So you can see that the vertices in the horizontal direction on the major axis will be the point in the middle, the center, plus A and minus A. So that would be plus 5 and minus 5 units. How about in the vertical direction? Well, here we have B squared. That will be 2 squared, so it will be 2 up and two down, so one, two, so it'll be over there, one, two, over here. So those, that will be the minor axis, and the distance from the center to the vertices on the minor axis will be two, which is the B right there, B squared. All right, so now we can go ahead and connect these. So there's my ellipse. There we go, that's what the ellipse looks like. And at this point, we have not yet found the foci. If we want to find the foci, we know that C is equal to the square root of, let's see here, that would be uh, a squared minus b squared. So in this case, that would be the square root of 5 squared minus 2 squared, which is equal to the square root of 25 minus 4, which is equal to the square root of 21, which, let's see, a square root of 21 is about 4.5 or so. 21, take the square root. 4.6 approximately, so that's approximately equal to 4.6 which means that the foci would be over here and over here somewhere. So that would be the two foci. So this would be the position of the foci would be equal to, uh, that would be in the horizontal direction, would be 2 plus C, and K would be equal to 1, 2, 3. And this would be the focus over here would be 2 minus C and 3. And of course, since C is 4.6, that would be at 6.6 .6 and 3, and this would be 2 minus 4.6 or minus 2.6 and 3 would be the two places where you can find the foci of the ellipse. And just to see, make sure we understand where these are at, this is at 7 and 3, and this would be at minus 3 and 3. And then this point right here would be at 2 and 1, and this one would be at 2 and 5. All right, so now you have all the major important points of the ellipse located at various places simply because we have the equation in the proper form. Now, what if the equation is not in the proper form? What if it's just written out and now we have to put it in the proper form? Well, for that, we're going to see that on the next video. So if you're still interested in how to do that, take a look at the next video. We'll take a simple equation and put it into the standard form for an ellipse so that we can graph it the way we just did. So, next video coming up.